everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching our EO Action Mobile video today. Uh, one patient in this video, uh, having both ears done. Now this patient, a lovely, lovely guy. Uh, is such a funny chap when he comes to you as we stitches. This is basically, he has this condition which means that his ear canals are very, very small uh, and they will probably carry on uh, shrinking in size as well. Uh, but he also suffers with a lot of dry skin and that's not a great mix because what we have here, as you can see, is a very small ear canal with a lot of dry skin at the entrance which blocks it very quickly. Now this particular patient uses hearing aids, uh, so it has to come through about every three to four months to get this out. Now, the reason we're going in with the Jobson horn here to clear this uh, skin debris rather than the suction is because the skin really holds on to the, the remaining skin in the ear canal. This is kind of dry layer on the top and the suction can't quite get the grip it needs and the, and the, and the hold, if you like, onto that skin to be able to pull that out. Um, so you can see as we push this down, there's this long strip of dry skin. Now this is effectively the ear canal, the top layer of ear canal wall skin all the way around is sort of hardened and dried up. So when you start to remove it, you actually remove the entire skin all the way down. It doesn't quite go over the eardrum in this particular case, uh, but does tend to fill the ear canal. Well guys, I didn't expect to be doing these videos uh, today. And that's because I'm actually away for a couple of days this week and I'm working in the other clinics as well. Uh, but I have managed to record videos. I'm doing them all today. So you're going to get videos uh, as normal next week on our Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, and I've also recorded the Tuesday, the following one as well, uh, just because I don't know whether I'll have enough time to do that because I'm in my other clinic. So you won't go without. I know you were panicking, but you won't go without, I promise. So you can see now we've managed to get this initial front section of skin away, but now we've got this much tougher section behind as well. So we're going to bring the crocodile forceps into play here. Now I know these do get a bad rap, these are these crocodile forceps, but what you can see here is we just managed to grip perfect for this type of skin problem. Now, because it's really, really hard and in long sheets, uh, the crocodile forceps do really, really well here. You can see the long strips coming away there. Uh, so really sort of coming away from the canal. You can see the narrowness of the canal there as well. Now that's the end of the forceps. Now the forceps are tiny, tiny little things. Um, and we're only just about managing to accommodate them and open the jaws as well. So you've got to remember, it's all well and good getting the end in. You've got to be able to open it out to be able to clamp on. So I'm just trying to get a good grip on this skin debris here. There we are, you can see how it's really, really holding on. Now we could pop a little bit of olive oil in here to soften and loosen the skin a little bit, uh, but the cilia are really close and we have to work really close to the entrance. Um, so not ideal for popping the olive oil in just yet. If we're a little bit further in, then yeah, we could possibly do it then. But you can see I'm just pulling this. There we go, you can see how it, the job's no one flicked off the top of that there when it was really trying to pull this out. So there we go, just coming down. Let's take a look behind that. There we are. Now we can start to see the eardrum. There we go. So we can see the eardrum, but we can see these, you can see the skin layers we're talking about there sitting on top of the surface at the bottom here, going across to the top left corner. Um, so yeah, well, let's pop a bit of olive oil. Now we've managed to get a little bit further in. Let's pop a little bit of olive oil in here now. The reason we were a little bit, um, more sort of cautious putting the olive oil in at the moment. It's not, nothing to do with the ear canal. It's because of the positioning of the endoscope compared to your tool. So when you're looking in here, we've got the tool then is obviously a little bit, ooh, look at that piece coming away. Really long strip of skin, sorry. Uh, we've well, got that tool. You can see it there. We get that blurring effect because what you'll find is the olive oil will coat the cilia. And we do, uh, somebody on uh, YouTube actually came up with a really good idea. We said, well, could you just use a cotton bud just around the cilia just to take the olive oil out, which, which we do now. That's something we've actually adopted in the practice, uh, which was a great suggestion. Thank you. I can't remember who did it, but it was a fantastic suggestion. And that really helps, so it gets rid of a lot of it, but you will get little thin layers still attached to it, and that's what uh, coats and just blurs uh, the front of the endoscope there as well. So you can see now we're just getting these last couple of pieces away, very deep, look at that peel. As that come away, you can see that layer that I was talking to you about, that really dry layer coming away. There we go, we've got a couple of little uh, bits and pieces here, so a few tiny bits, very slowly going down, and we're just gonna lift a couple of these little pieces. That's a long strip of dry skin here. Let's see if we can get rid of that. See how it folds down from the attic, it folds down from the top of the ear canal there. Uh, we just picked up a little bit on the way in. That's the difficulty, we've got the fine end. So just to give you some idea, this is the fine end here. Uh, we did a video showing you the tools and the, fine, the difference between the fine end of the Zolna tube. It's one of the shorts we did. Uh, go back and have a look for that one if you want to see the size of this particular tool. Um, but it's very, very small. So we've got that on. But as that went into the ear canal just a second ago, it picked up a little bit of loose uh, dry wax and that just flicked up and just blocked the end of the suction. Uh, but you can see we're just pulling down. Now, 
Somebody in the comments did ask, you know, does this hurt when you're, when you're pulling this? It doesn't. I mean, normally what I would say to my patient if we're doing this particular type of peel here is like, you're gonna feel a lot of pulling. You're gonna feel much, a lot of sort of pulling against the skin in the ear canal. You may feel the odd mild pinch. And that is basically when we take the skin away, as it gets to the, I mean, this is dead skin. So it's not gonna feel a dead skin coming away apart from pulling. When it gets that last little bit, you might just feel it as it comes away from the remaining living skin, the sort of alive skin in there. That's when you might feel just a little a mild scratch or mild pinching sensation. That came away really, really well. So that eardrum is looking so much better. There's a little sneaky bit just at the bottom here. And there's also another little sneaky bit just up on the left-hand side. So let's get rid of that piece first and let's see if we can grab that little bit. Is it gonna let me pick it up? You can see what I mean about the end getting covered straight away. Didn't quite get that bit. So let's go in and grab this section. There we go. And we'll grab that little bit we were trying to earlier. There we go. So ear canal looking so much better. We will do a before and after shot for this one for you. So it should come up in a second. There we go. So this is what it looked like when we first started. And this is what it looks like now. Stay tuned for the second ear canal. Completely different. Now I'll have a look at this one. <laughs> now. Why is it such a different wax in both ear canals? There's a very simple explanation. The patient has used olive oil to soften this one, but the patient, if you imagine, when you put olive oil in, sometimes it can make the ear feel a little bit more blocked up because the wax absorbs the oil and then expands. Um, so if you imagine, if you've got somebody who is struggling with their hearing on one side, uh, you'll soften that bit, but you might feel a little bit more blocked up when the oil first goes in. Whereas the other side then, it still has a little bit of hearing left in it. If you do both sides, you feel really blocked up on both sides. So it's not unusual for patients to oil one side a lot more than the other. Very soft, you can see the look at that peeling away. Out that comes, that long kind of, almost, what do you call that? Like a, rather a plug, it would be a slug I would imagine. It's more kind of slimy than that, uh, as it's come away. But what we're left with then is a lot of, you can see this dry skin that we were talking about last time, but now this dry skin's actually been oiled and moisturized. So instead of it being dry and thick and hard like it was on the other ear canal, look at the difference oiling that makes. You imagine, it's a bit like using, sorry, I'm talking so much, I'm losing my voice. Uh, you imagine using moisturizer on your skin. If you've got a dry patch of skin, it's quite kind of hard and rough. You put the moisturizer on it, it gives a kind of nice kind of baby soft skin. That's what's happening in the ear canal here. So we've still got the same issue we had on the other side. It's just this is much, much softer. So we're lifting and pulling these larger, almost sheets of uh, sort of much softer skin away. And then we're just gonna tidy up around the edges here. Now there is one really annoying little hair in here, which really got on my nerves towards the end of this section. Yeah, every time I seem to go in there, that hair just kept popping up. Uh, we do get rid of it now in a second, so just give you a bit of a heads up on that one. Uh, we're just working away around the outside edge. You can see the color, the, the, the difference in color. You can see at the moment where the ear canal wall skin is, there's that little annoying hair. Um, you can see where the ear canal wall skin is compared to the, the kind of soft after uh, this, this little bit here just above is a little bit of skin and wax, that one. So I'm just working my way around the outside edge, trying to shove that little, I was hoping that the suction would actually grip that hair and bring it out, or there was a piece of wax the hair was stuck into, uh, but unfortunately, no, that wasn't the case. So we're gonna send the crocodile forceps in to go and get him. Uh, so we're just gonna go over the top here. There we go. Um, one of the comments that came up really uh, recently, actually, guys, while, we, while we're just doing this little bit, um, so that, which, I, which I found a really interesting one. Some of the people were saying, uh, somebody said, I should say, well, people, um, about, you know, can we make it a little bit more informative about sort of what's going on rather than just explaining what's happening? Um, so I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to give you little kind of snippets as to the sort of the, the structures in there and, and, and how uh, the canal uh, so how the wax is made up and why it's different in some cases and others and things like that. If that is more of what you want to hear in the uh, the sort of the, the, the voiceovers that we do, um, let me know in the comment section. We, we always kind of try and respond to you guys. If you if you want us to, to change or tweak something, I know I talk a lot. I can't help it. I'm just a talker and, and I do talk through a lot of it and, and I get very excited every so often, which I won't change because you guys love that bit. But um, yeah, if you want to know a little bit more information about what's going on, this is what it looked like before. Sorry, 
this is what it looks like after. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that, mate. Uh, and this is what we removed. Uh, so you can see, I got, I'll go back to that. Four and a half centimeters, because I've got to work inches out, and I can't talk and work inches out. Uh, inch and three quarters at the same time, there we go. Um, yeah, if you want a little bit more of that kind of more of an informative uh, kind of voiceover talking about the structures and bits and pieces, let me know, and I'll, I'll try and add a bit in uh, as we're going through. I won't sort of make it too complex and stuff like that, because I think it's quite nice when you when you kind of make a way of simplifying everything, and it's just, everyone understands it. Then. Um, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know I prattled on a lot through that. Um, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. And I shall see you again real soon uh, on... Da -da -da -da. I forgot what day it is. Thursday. There you go. Bye, everyone. <laughs>